Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. You may well notice the difference in me. I'll give you a couple of seconds. If you've been watching my clips lately, you will know that I was getting really, really concerned with my hair this summer turning really warm, very brassy. Now, let's just touch on that a little bit. So, in my family, my father has very dark auburn hair. When he was younger, it was very, very warm. As he's got older, it's got really, really dark to the point where you'd actually never know. And it's almost black. Strange, isn't it? Now it's starting to grey. But in the sun, you can see there is some warmth, brassy tones in there. My twin brother. When he grows facial hair, if it grows too long, he gets a very warm colour come through in there, like a brassy colour. And if the sun shines, it looks really gingery. Not that there's a problem with that, but it's certainly not a look I like and it certainly doesn't suit me. I don't get that in my facial hair. What I get is in this country, if I'm in the sun, when my hair grows, it lightens and lightens and it lightens to a point where it gets really brassy towards the ends, never at the roots or sort of the mid-length, but towards the ends it goes really, really warm and very, very sort of brassy, and I really don't like it. What do I normally do? So what I normally do is I get my hair cut short, but because we're in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic, and yeah, pretty stuck, so I haven't been able to get it cut. Now, I've grown it at once, like, uh, to the length I've had it before. Not so long, because my hair now is past my bottom lip. It's really, really long when it's pulled out straight. Um, and from the roots to sort of the mid-length here, and then down here, it's starting to get really, really light um, and really quite warm. Not a horrible colour, but just something I really didn't necessarily like. When I had my hair, um, uh, when I had my hair in certain styles and I was out in the garden or what have you, um, it really kind of bugged me that it was changing. Bearing in mind, I'm very much used to my 1920s, 1910s inspired hairstyles, the slick, uh, slick back hair or side slick back look, um, pompadour styles with lots of height in the front and the smoothness at the back with that real nice volume, a nice dark colour so it really does show what, um, what hairstyle I'm trying to achieve, it really does show it off um, really quite as a professional look. Now of course that you can do that with any hair colour, absolutely, but for me what suits me is dark hair and I can clearly Clearly, clearly see that because what I have gone and done is coloured my hair, dyed my hair. Yeah, it sounds strange, doesn't it? Yep, a young man has dyed his hair. I'm probably not the first, let's put it that way. <laughs> and to be honest with you, I've done this once before to try and colour up some hair, um, some, some. I don't want to say alopecia, some hair thinning which I had, I had a patch due to stress which came out and that was about 2015 and that was in the front of my hair just under here um, and it really done wonders in trying to cover it up. However, I went too dark and done it a few times, it went nearly black and it wouldn't be something I'd like to do at all. The colour I've chosen here, this is a medium ash tone. Why have I gone with a medium ash tone? Now this is because I am told that ash is to counteract against any brassy or red tones naturally in the hair. And you know what, it's done absolute wonders. And I've done this just to try and cover up the brassiness in my hair. But you know what, I'm really really glad and really pleased I've done it because even just looking from how I've got my hair now because my hair's really really long I haven't had it cut for goodness me we're getting on to several months now it hasn't been cut for maybe even four months yeah because it was before the coronavirus pandemic because I've been growing the top out and it's literally I just want to think yeah it's probably under four months getting to the four month mark maybe could be longer could be longer who knows? Um, so it's, it's past my bottom lip now and it's really getting a lot to manage because the back's kind of not far off that length as well. And I usually have the back cut in nice and short and tape it in. And then I have the volume in the front and it all goes up into like a nice pompadour style. Now it's got so long, I do that one side and then I swoop it over off to hear like what I've got going on now. As you can see, these bits are really, really long. And when they're pulled out straight, it really does come really, really low. I like the look, I have to admit, I'm liking my hair longer and I'm really pleased that I changed the colour because now I can confidently say that darker hair suits me. I wish it was this dark all the time, to be quite honest. If you look back at some of my previous clips, it goes really, really light. But it's strange because on holidays, and I'm an avid, um, holiday maker if that's a word, tourist, whatever you want to call it, love traveling. I've been I've been fortunate enough to be to a lot of places around the world. And in the sun abroad, my hair goes really, really whitish. Like it gives that real sort of very, very light brown. No red in it at all. The sun in here in the UK, here in England, it seems to make it really, really warm, really coppery, really brassy. I have no idea why that is. But it does do it. Um, and it's something I don't like. It was getting to the point where I was spending a lot of time out in the garden. I work from home, so I've got quite a few health problems and things going on. So I like to sort of 
switch off in the garden and I find it quite therapeutic, quite de-stressing. Um, so even just sitting outside of the rink or what have you, um, halfway through the day um, or even in the evening and the sun was just really lightening it all the time and it was getting really, really brassy and I wasn't liking it because then when the sun was shining on it, it was making it more brassy, more golden and it just was not suiting me. For me, any style didn't really look smart on me. Um, so I made the decision very, very quickly after the clip which I'd done and that was just because looking in the mirror it was getting really, really warm had a look online for the best kind of colour and I wanted something which was not going to affect the health of my hair. So I've chosen not permanent, not even semi-permanent, something called demi-permanent, which lasts apparently about 21 to 24 shampoos. I think already it's going to probably last longer than that because it's a darker tone and it's just balancing out all of that red in my hair, which is really, really quite nice. And when I say red, I mean that brassy sort of coppery tone. Now something as well, which I've had a really amazing benefit from this too, is recently... Um, for we are over three months now on my Viviscal journey, I've had a lot of small, short, spiky hairs regrow throughout my hairline and throughout my hair. Now I have used a colour, and of course all colouring can't be good for you at all, but this is probably the most softest to my hair, healthiest, which the colour I've chosen is very, very weak. When it touches water, believe you me, loads washes out. But because the dye has grabbed those small hairs, which I'm getting through, which I believe through Viviscal, which if you haven't looked, look at on my channel. It's a health program which nurtures your roots of your hair, brings the health back into your hair and the scalp, in my opinion, anyway. And what it's done is the dye has grabbed those real small hairs. So my hair actually, through colouring it, I'm experiencing thicker hair, which is just amazing. And certainly in this area here, which if you've watched my Viviscal clips, you'll notice that I was a bit worried about the hair behind my hairline. And in this bit here, um, not my crown, in a little bit further. And those areas have really got fuller, and it looks fuller when I pull it apart in my, uh, when I pull my roots apart and I look in the mirror. And the dye has really grabbed to even the smallest hairs which have come through through taking the Viviscal. And it's such a difference. If you don't believe me, unfortunately, there's not too much I can do about it, but it's my own personal opinion. I'm truthful. I could absolutely sit here and say that I haven't coloured my hair, but do you know what? It's part of me. So what? I'm a 26 year old man. Why can't men colour their hair as well? Everybody likes to look good. And in this, in today's society, people are far too quick for throwing out stereotypes, throwing out, I don't know, somebody must be feminine if they're dyeing their hair. Somebody must be feminine if they like hair products. Nope, not at all. I want to get married, want to have a wife, want to have children, want to have the big house and the perfect lifestyle. And I like having nice hair means nothing at all. So my thing would be to anybody is if you're not happy with your hair, a new lease of life in your hair, think about a real soft, gentle colour on your hair. Even if you're a man sat there thinking, my hair looks pretty drab, it's starting to grey, I'm in my 30s, don't really want to have that look at the moment, want to stay really youthful, want to look really quite cool, have a look, have a look. And if you don't like looking in the shops for colourants or, or dyes, whatever you want to have a look at, because I found that really quite, um, I had a discreet look myself. And I'll just tell you something about this, actually. I, I brought my mum along to the supermarket. It was when we were actually doing grocery shopping. And I said, mum, just kind of stand with me while I have a look. And she was like, no, you don't need to do that. And I was like, mum, I'm going to anyway. So it just was not working. It was not working. I think my mum ended up looking at other things on the aisle as well. And I was just left there. And I just thought, oh, my God, what's happening? <laughs> Which is wrong, isn't it? It really, really is wrong. But um, anyway, I went online, had a look and found the good old Amazon, bought what I wanted, come home, thought about it, done it in the evening absolutely love the colour. Really trendy, really quite cool. And this dark colour, I only wish my natural hair was this dark, to be honest with you. Really, really lovely. And do you know what? When I do my slick back looks, my 1910s, 1920s, like the whole Brill Cream sort of look, it looks incredible. Really makes me feel confident, especially with all these health problems going on in the back. Something just as small as this makes me feel brilliant. So anyway, what do you think? Hope that would give you a little bit of confidence if you were thinking about doing that. And you know what? There is nothing wrong with it at all. When I first done it, I walked into my local supermarket with my twin brother. I was being really paranoid and I thought, everybody's looking at me because they can see that I coloured my hair. Never again am I going to do this. And you know what? I quickly thought that actually it was just me. And probably it was the way I was walking because I've got a really bad hernia at the moment, which is affecting how I'm walking. And it was probably that, to be honest with you, is that person OK? Um, and when I got through that and when actually when I lifted my head up a bit and started looking around, people weren't doing that at all. Um, so, yeah, hey ho, probably me being a little bit. I'm not self-centered at all. Probably me being a little bit. Um, what's the word? Probably not the best confidence in the world. But there we go. So. 
there we go. Absolutely. I said it, didn't I? So, hope you've enjoyed this clip. I really do. I'm looking forward to trying out with some styles, and it would be really, really nice. We've heard today that hairdressers, barbers, and anywhere who cuts hair, apparently in the UK, is able now to open from the 4th of July, so that would be great to get my hair. I'm liking it longer, I have to admit, so I may be exploring with having a longer style. Who knows? Um, but I'm looking forward to getting the back cut in a little bit. It's starting to get really quite, quite long, and I don't mind touching it, as you can see now. It's getting really quite long, and it's... um. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I have to. I do like it. But I'm um, looking forward to having something a little bit sharper uh, going forward in the next couple of weeks. OK, thanks very much for watching this clip. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. And one of my little advices going from this clip is if you're thinking about doing something, do not care about anybody else, what they will think, because what do they say? The people what matter. What is it? The people what matter do care. The people what don't matter don't something like that but I read something like that online recently and yeah if somebody does think actually or makes a bit of a remark so what it doesn't really matter then people do matter your friends your family and they probably think you're really really cool to be quite honest with you as well it's probably people being a bit jealous too um my age I'm really really fortunate to even have hair at my age at 26 so many of the people who I went to school with they've actually not got hair on their head now and I do actually think goodness what on earth what it makes me really, really interested about hair and what actually does go wrong personally is it diets is it stress we're all quite stressed nowadays aren't we um yeah really really interested in that but there we go so thanks very much for watching my clip and until next time we will see you then bye now